Welcome to this week on Great Lakes Golf Today. I'm your host, Mike Jamison, taking a ride up to beautiful Gaylord, Michigan. And we're here at the perennial favorite for all of you golfers out there throughout the Great Lakes area, Treetops Golf Resort. And we're going to be spotlighting the masterpiece. That's where I'm actually sitting here at the clubhouse right now. But we'll also be talking with Scott Head about all the great, great courses that they have up here and all of the great packages. And let me tell you, you can just come up here for our one-night stay and a round of golf or they've got packages lined up all across the board for you so you can spend a lot of time up here golfing these wonderful courses out at uh, treetops it's going to be a great show we're actually going to be also talking with danny sutton out at eagles landing about junior golf for our third straight week this week uh, danny's going to be talking to uh, my daughter and a friend of hers about some of the basics of making sure that they get the correct correct things for their swing so they're set up and they can go out there and golf and enjoy the game like the rest of us do lots of good stuff this week on great lakes golf today Great Lakes Golf Today is brought to you in part by Components Plus. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. beautiful treetops resorts with our director of golf mr scott head how are you doing I'm sir i'm doing great it's great to have you back up once you, again you know what's it's been exciting you've been with us since uh pretty much day one yeah with uh back in the toledo golf days and this has always been that dream weekend vacation for me to just jump in the car you know in three and a half hours from my toledo ohio area and i'm up here for a wonderful uh, round or two of golf well, three and a half hours, you're probably speeding a little bit. It's about a four-hour journey. I'd like to thank the uh, Michigan Highway Patrol, too, for being uh, very nice to me here this morning. <laughs> I don't think anybody told you it's four hours. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, it's four hours. It is. It is. Yeah, but it's yeah. great to have you back up. We, I look forward to it, seeing you and being on the show. It's a lot and the, of fun. And the great thing is now with us, uh, you know, pretty much being all over here on Michigan, you're going to have... You're going to have everybody in Michigan calling you wanting to come up here. Well, you know, we love the Toledo market, but uh, Southeast Michigan, certainly we like to get that message out to, to that client base as well. And, and I think the message really has a lot to do with the fact, number one, you're not just one golf course. You really have a style for just any, any kind of golfer here with the, with the type of courses that you have. And, of course, you have the monsters, the part three shootout here that just, just, just was over a little while ago, and yeah. uh, it works out real nice. Yeah, it's great. You know, ultimately what we're renowned for, not only the quantity of golf, we've got 81 holes, but the quality and diversity. And as we go through each course, everybody will get a, an understanding of why we're, why we're known for that. We're real proud of it. I, I notice the one thing coming up here every year, you know, when you call me or I talk to you, you have something new happening. Something new is yeah. going on, whether it be a new real estate development, whether it's uh, uh, those great burgers. They're, they're even better this year. I don't know what you did to those bacon cheeseburgers, but they, they, my daughter and I loved them. But it's always something is being changed here. And same thing like with your lodging. It's just wonderful. Well, I appreciate that. You know, this is three years with Rick Smith at the helm. He and his uh, he and his partners have they put a lot of money back into this property. About four million dollars has gone back into the property uh, over the course of the last three years. Uh, we've made improvements to our lodging, both the lodge, which was fully renovated, and a spa component added. Uh, we've done a renovation to our to our in building, which you know seems to be a favorite amongst the golfers and also those that are coming up here to ski during the winter time. Uh, renovated the lobby, added a Starbucks cafe and a gaming room for kids. And as we uh, look to become more family friend friendly, that's been one of Rick's mandates all along. Because ultimately, uh, we want this resort to be a four-season, year-round living environment. Where certainly, you know, not only going to be offering, and we'll talk a little bit about it. We've got a fractional offering here called the Masterpiece Residence Club, but also single-family lots as well. Uh, and within the next four weeks, we'll be making a big announce announcement regarding that. Well, and, and the great thing about 
the whole area here is the fact that it's so family oriented right right now as a matter of fact up on your north courses you've got one of the greatest uh it looks like all the new pros are up there uh, yep. swinging the clubs and uh, doing it they've got the the junior tour up there yeah the uh, game of your life foundation have both the power belt and the myers tour they're playing the tradition and uh, the fazio course yesterday uh we had about 350 uh, kids and parents playing in a parent-child event, for, you know, that were on three of our golf courses. So that kind of epitomizes what goes on. And, and just what a week ago or so, we uh, we hosted the par three shootout, uh, which uh, was a phenomenal success. And uh, we're looking into the future and hopefully renewing that for the years to come. What is the big thing about the treetops resorts here in Gaylord? When you when you talk about Gaylord, Michigan, you talk about Upper Michigan. Really and truthfully, in the past. 15 to 20 years, you, you're thinking golf. You're thinking golf. What sets treetops apart from the other courses in the area? Well, you know, when you come to northern Michigan, uh, you've got such wonderful topography, uh, such a dramatic setting, and of course we've got the cool evenings. Uh, so we've got not only dramatic uh, changes in elevation and beautiful scenes, but we have uh, a climate zone where you can really maintain high quality turf. Sure. Uh, then you add Robert Trent Jones Sr., the only Tom Fazio in the state of Michigan, and of course Rick Smith, who's the Rick Smith signature, if I had to say, is probably my best golf, but the, in my mind, uh, my, my favorite golf course. We've got a golf course that accommodates walking with the tradition course. Then you add into the mix uh, a 90 minute experience on three tops that uh, <laughs> three publications have called the best three part three course in America, and you've got something that is truly special. Uh, something that I think it, you know that is measured against uh, the great golf complexes of the world, and uh, it's it's I'm, I'm very proud to be affiliated with the brand as strong as Treetops uh, and working with Rick Smith. But you know, at, at the end of the day, it comes down to the quality golf, and I go back to not only the quality, the quantity, but uh, the diversity that exists. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful place, and we got a lot of stuff to show you here. We're actually going to kind of tickle about three or four courses out here and talk to some other people. It's going to be a great show, so you stick around in uh, northern Michigan's jewel right here at Treetops Resorts when we come back right here on Great Lakes Golf Today. If your course would like to be spotlighted on Great Lakes Golf Today, call us, 866-612-2311. ever think about building your own golf clubs? Well, Components Plus thinks you can, and they're here to help. Innovation is the game, and Components Plus has the latest shafts, heads, grips, and more. Components Plus prides itself on having everything you, the golfer, would need. Now, you can build your own clubs or have our professionals custom build a set for your swing. Call Components Plus today for our free catalog. Components Plus. Technology builds the components. Tradition builds the clubs. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. SMG has created a full line of high-quality component heads that are not only forgiving, but are achieving the highest honors in the entire history of the game. SMT Golf is the winningest component company in the history of golf, with five REMAX Long Drive Championships and hundreds of individual and LDA Tour victories. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. Check out the entire line of SMT Golf products at Components Plus at the Legacy Golf Resort. The best Ford dealer in the world today A family business that's here to stay Matthews Ford, always there for you Welcome to Pew's new state-of-the-art facility in Holland, Ohio. Stop by and see our many working products on display that help keep you comfortable. Now is the best time to save on a complete carrier air conditioning and heating system from Pew. A newly designed carrier air conditioner will help you reduce your electric bill up to 40%. Call Pew now or stop by our new location on Hamilton Drive off Angola Road between Holland, Sylvania and McCord. Remember, there just wouldn't be a Pew without you. Perched high over the Pigeon River Valley, Treetops Resort is recognized as one of Michigan's finest four-season resorts. 
Offering 81 holes of championship golf, Treetops Resort features designs by Robert Trent Jones Sr., Tom Fazio, and renowned instructor Rick Smith. Treetops is also home to the famed Par 3 Three Tops and the Rick Smith Golf Academy. For play and stay packages, call 1-888-TREETOPS or visit treetops.com. Don't forget to sign up for a chance at free golf at www.greatlakesgolftoday.com. Welcome back to Great Lakes Golf today here at the beautiful Treetops Resorts in Gaylord, Michigan. And Scott, uh, real quick, give us a, a, a how-to to get up here. I mean, you're, man, you're right off 75. Yeah, we're ten, we're, we are 10 minutes off I-75, uh, you know, which makes it really easy. you got that big major artery going up to Mackinac Island. You get off on 282 and basically take a right and follow the signs to Treetops. It can't be any easier well, than you that. you got to stop and get some fudge before you come here. Yeah, I did that. Hey, we're going to go out on the, you actually have treetops and you have treetops north, which is about uh, three miles north from the lodge that we're That's at right. right now. Yeah, four miles north. And uh, tell us a little bit, that seems to be, uh, that's your newest area, and that seems to be where you're doing a lot of your new building, and give us a little idea of what, uh, what, what we have up there. Well, up at Treetops North, we've got 63 holes there. We've got a Tom Fazio course. It's the only Tom Fazio in the state of Michigan. Uh, it was the second golf course built here on property. Um, right after the Robert Trent Jones Senior Masterpiece, which is very challenging, very bold, uh, well documented. You know, you know a lot about that golf course. And Fazio's course was a wonderful complement to that because it was uh, it's more user friendly. It's founded on containment. Okay. You know, high sides, the ball tends to get. We call it the Fazio kick, and it really complemented the uh, the first golf course really well. From there, we go to uh, we move over to Rick Smith's signature golf course. My favorite course. Mine too. Yeah, Hard to believe course. it was uh, his first championship design. Uh, Rick spent a lot of time in the woods. I think he wore out three different vehicles <laughs> driving through there. Ultimately, 11 different routings oh to goodness. find the best routing he could uh, potentially find. And he had spent a lot of time with Robert Trent Jones Sr. and Tom Fazio and had traveled the world, had gone to Scotland, Europe, played the great classic golf courses in the East, Co in the East Coast and was a real big influence on him. And you can see it with the cross bunkers, the, the, the masterful bunkering. Uh, and also took uh, advantage of the assets there, which are the views in the right. hills. Oh, it's beautiful. Unbelievable views. Um, it opened up to rave reviews. Uh, incidentally, Rick opened up uh, the Par 3 course, Three Tops, at the same time. Uh, took, uh, took some really severe land that you really couldn't put a championship golf course on it. Uh, but it was, it could accommodate uh, one-shot golf. Sure, sure. Tee and green complexes. You know, we've got changes in elevation, for instance, number three, 145 foot vertical. Uh, and it, uh, it's amazing how that's evolved. Uh, he had just gone back from Augusta and decided, you know, talked to Harry Melling at the time and said, this is what we need. Well, it opened up. Golf Week was here for the, uh, for the inaugural and called it the best par 3 course in America. And since then, we've had two more publications. So it's unanimous that it's the number one par 3 course. We call it the world. And you actually started a trend with that course, too. I think you were the, you were the determining factor of, of making a challenging par 3 course like that. And, that. and everybody's setting their sights to be just like you. You know, I think, there, I think there's some truth to that. I would say uh, Rick was on the cutting edge of uh, design. Definitely. Uh, and, and did something uh, and, and basically with unusable land, which is, which is pretty cool. And I think, you know, he's going to do some more of those around the country. And I can't wait to see his next work because this one is ultimately uh, phenomenal. Uh, and then our last course is the Rick Smith Tradition Course. It was, it was built with the intention of accommodating walking. Mm -hmm. That just added another element to the sure. lure here. Uh, and it's, uh, it is impeccably maintained. I went to Shinnecock last year for the U.S. Open. And it, you could really see Seth Rayner's influence <laughs> on Rick because it looks like, it looks like Shinnecock. The way he flashes the bunkers with the fescues, uh, you know, it's a, it's really a bounce and roll golf course. It's old style golf. It's wonderful. I love that course too. I have a lot of fun. One of the things going out last time I got to play the tradition, it was about five six o'clock at night. There wasn't it, no wind. There, the, you couldn't even hear a cricket. It was so quiet out there, and that was just one. It was unbelievable. Very serene. The way the game was meant to be played, and uh, yeah, I'm very proud. Once again, I'm proud of that golf course as well. Hi, this is Dan Sutton here at Eagles Landing with this week's Great Lakes Golf Today Tip of the Week. I'm here with Haley and Lucas doing some junior golf instruction, and these two really haven't played all that much. Um, 
I want to talk with you guys today about some of the fundamentals we need to learn to play this game of golf. And one of the first things we need to learn is the proper grip, just how we hold the club. Each one of you go ahead, go ahead and pull the club up here. And what we want to learn is golf is somewhat similar to baseball. In golf, we hold it to where we have a 10 finger grip, but in golf, we're going to interlock our hands, okay? So in baseball, you use a 10 finger grip. In golf, we interlock our fingers. Perfect. And then as we bring the club down here, we're going to hide that left thumb in the cup of our right hand palm. Very important that we learn the grip, okay? Second thing we're going to learn is our stance and posture, okay? Haley, go ahead and jump in here. Lucas over there by yours. You guys always want to learn that we, as we set up, we set up with our feet shoulder width apart, okay? So we're good there, okay? And then never ever do we stand vertically, okay? We want to bend at the knees and we want to bend forward at our waist to where our arms are just kind of hanging nice and free, okay? Now after we've done that, the one question I'm going to ask you, Haley, is uh, how do we get the ball up in the air? getting under the ball. That's a good answer. A lot of people say hit under it. Some people say scoop it. Well, what we want to learn is you will learn that the loft of the club is what gets the ball in the air for us. Here, a pitching wedge has a 45 degree angle of loft. That ball is going to take off in a 45 degree angle of hip properly. So it's the loft of the club that gets the ball up in the air. What we need to remember is we need to remember to hit down on the ball. And by hitting down, the loft of the club is what gets the ball up in the air for us. Okay. Hit down, and by hitting down, the loft of this club is what gets the ball up. There you go. Excellent shot. Excellent shot. Okay? Very good. Lucas, one more time. Hit right down on it. There you go. Good one there. Not too bad. Still a little low, but not too bad. Okay? So remember, a good grip, a good stance, and good posture. Don't be standing straight-legged. Bend at your knees. Bend at your waist. And then how are we going to get that ball up in the air? Swing down. By hitting down. You guys learn to hit down on the ball. You'll be doing great. Appreciate your help today, you guys. This is Dan Sutton here at Eagles Landing for Great Lakes Golf Today. Until next week, hit them straight. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. SMT has created a full line of high-quality component heads that are not only forgiving, but are achieving the highest honors in the entire history of the game. SMT Golf is the winningest component company in the history of golf, with five REMAX Long Drive Championships and hundreds of individual and LDA Tour victories. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. Check out the entire line of SMT Golf products at Components Plus at the Legacy Golf Resort. Perched high over the Pigeon River Valley, Treetops Resort is recognized as one of Michigan's finest four-season resorts. Offering 81 holes of championship golf, Treetops Resort features designs by Robert Trent Jones Sr., Tom Fazio, and renowned instructor Rick Smith. Treetops is also home to the famed Par 3 Three Tops and the Rick Smith Golf Academy. For play and stay packages, call 1-888-TREETOPS or visit treetops.com. This is what great golf is all about. Voted Toledo's favorite course to play, this is Eagles Landing Golf Club. Located on the beautiful shores of Lake Erie, Eagles Landing can accommodate your group or company outing. Head pro Dan Sutton can fine-tune your game so you can play your best. On the web at eagleslandinggolfclub.net or call 697-GOLF for the area's best, Eagles Landing Golf Club. This is the place to play and have fun in 2006. This is Eagles Landing Golf Club. St. Ives Resorts in Stanwood, Michigan would like to invite you to a golfer's dream come true. With two championship golf courses, St. Ives and Tully Moore. Our 44-room inn at St. Ives provides elegant lodging for our guests. Call 1-800-972-4837 to book your stay and to find out more about our great golf packages and our award-winning golf courses. St. Ives Resorts. Don't forget to sign up for a chance at free golf at www.greatlakesgolftoday.com. Welcome back to Great Lakes Golf Today here with Eric. It's Jess Wine, correct? Guess Wine. Guess Wine, Mike. Guess Wine. 
Thanks just, for having just me. Just like the shoes, right? Correct. No, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> You're actually the head pro here at the uh, Robert Trent Jones Masterpiece. Correct. Correct. And this is, you know, we talk a little bit about this course. This is actually right on the resort and mm -hmm. on the on the main resort. And wow, what this is a, this is a thinker's course. This is definitely the most challenging course that Treetops offers. And you can ask pretty much anybody that's played it. We'll tell you the same thing. You've got to think your way around this track. I had one of the young ladies that worked here was telling me about you. You have a little tough man contest at the end of the year on this course. <laughs> That's always a, well, it's always a fun when we put the tees in about as hard a spots as we can. We tuck the pins two feet behind the bunkers. And with the natural layout of this course anyway, that makes things for uh, for a very interesting day of and golf. And you do this late in the year, right? Late? No, it's, it's October. It's snowing sideways and, you know, get a little wind in there. I'm here. It's fun. I'm going to, Jeff Merritt it's and my buddies, fun. we're going to be here. That's <laughs> what we're coming here for, the tough man. you got to talk a little bit about that. Actually, take us out on the course here and uh, and tell us a little bit. You know, hole number one here at the Master Beat is, is the one that you're going to see on all the brochures. Beautiful. Correct. Hole number one, it's a great start, and it's a demanding start to a demanding golf course. It's about a 510-yard par 5 uh, from, from our blue tee markers. And, you know, people think of a nice 500-yard downhill par 5 to start. They think, oh, I can start out with a nice, easy, a nice, easy birdie or an easy par here. When you're standing over this second shot and you've got a 180, 200, 220-yard carry over this pond that we've got in front of the green, you know, the fountain's going, it's, uh, it, it'll make you think twice about going for it. Oh, sure. And, you know, we see a lot of people laying up even from 180 yards because that water's, you know, it's a little yeah, sketchy scary. if they're going to get over it or not, but it's a great hole. Uh, it's a good way to start your round. <laughs> I'll tell you what, even if you don't want to play the course and just come out here and sit and watch people on number one. I, I did that That'll one day. That'll make for a heck That's of a day. That's just unbelievable. Hi, yeah. Eric, hole number four. Boy, this is this is this has got a, a name to itself, huh? Correct. I want to I want to talk about the fourth hole a little bit. We redesigned the hole. Okay. And 2005 is actually the first the first year that we played the new hole. We had to redesign due to the uh, the Masterpiece Residence Club which is our interval ownership opportunity that we've developed here at Treetops. Hole number four is now, a, it's, it's a par three, it's always been a par three, but now we've got about a 160 yard shot downhill. The way we've designed it, the bunk, we've got bunkers flashing in the backdrop, you know, beautiful section of trees surrounding it. And it's definitely with, with the way the green is contoured, uh, it can, it's definitely a demanding golf shot, but it's a little bit easier than the old hole, which was a 220-yard uphill par three to a shallow green. I, I know you probably remember playing sure. that hole yep. yourself. Uh, but it, it's a great golf hole as well. You're hitting a nice little downhill mid-iron to a green that's you know surrounded with, with nature's beauty. Eric, hole number six is uh, another one of your par threes here that uh, I think the beauty that that wraps around this hole. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You can come out here in the evening or early, early in the morning. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And most people consider that the signature hole of our resort. Certainly. You're talking 120 foot vertical drop from tee to green. Plays about, you know, the yardage will tell you between 140 and 160, but I'll tell you the truth. I've hit anything from a pitching wedge to a four iron from that tee. Obviously, depending on the oh, wind, sure. you're standing up there sometimes, the wind's blowing in your face or you're standing up there with a downwind shot to a front pin. It's definitely a hole that you need to play a couple of times in order to get that yardage dialed in, but it's, it's a great test of golf. Probably want to go down a couple of clubs the first time just, we just normally, to be safe. Yeah, we normally recommend about a two-club two club drop, and that's if, obviously if you're standing up there and there's no wind. Hole number 15, uh, par 4 here, you, you could get in trouble with this one. You can get in trouble with 15 because it's so tempting, Mike. <laughs> You're standing on this tee, some of our big hitters that come out here. Uh, yardage will tell you about 325 to 330, dog leg left, but with about an 80 foot vertical drop from the tee down to the green, a lot of the guys are, are bulking up to go for it. Right, uh, right. It's, it's obviously, obviously a less challenging hole if you can just suck it up and take the four or five iron, put one down there in the fairway and hit the sandwich to the green. Sure. But when you've got that option to take the big dog <laughs> off the tee and get home in one, it's tough to pass up. And there's some pretty severe sand traps. You have and, no bailout area. No, you have no bailout. It's either green or bust. So if in you other go words, for if it. you got a slice or you, you hook the ball, you don't want to try that. You know. No, you don't. But you're still going. But you're still going. A lot of, a lot of people know, do that. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, hard, it's hard to talk them out of the four or five iron layup when they that, got that driver in their That's hand. when you bring out that old dusty brown ball in your bag. And that's what you have. Give it a rip. <laughs>
Take control of your game with SMT Golf. SMT has created a full line of high quality component heads that are not only forgiving, but are achieving the highest honors in the entire history of the game. SMT Golf is the winningest component company in the history of golf, with five Remax Long Drive Championships and hundreds of individual and LDA Tour victories. Take control of your game with SMT Golf. Check out the entire line of SMT Golf products at Components Plus at the Legacy Golf Resort. Every true golfer's dream begins at Red Hawk Golf Club in Tawas. Rated one of the top five public courses in Michigan by Golf Digest, the artistry of this Arthur Hills design astounds everyone who plays. With its spectacular natural setting and varied elevations, no two holes are alike. Calling for thoughtful strategy and accurate shot making, it's no surprise that number 16 was voted best par 5 in the Midwest by Great Lakes Golf Magazine. Come experience the solitude of true northern golf at Red Hawk Golf Club. Golf has come a long way from its beginning, but good golf still means good putting. Take that first step toward putting excellence. Synthetic Turf International is ready to install your personal putting green in whatever size and shape you desire, right in your own backyard. Guaranteed to sustain its color, texture, and durability, it's a first cousin to the finest bent grass green in the world. Listen, how sweet is that? Call your local distributor for your own personal putting green. See this beautiful home? Now picture it made truly better with an entryway from Thermatrue. Thermatrue doors have the look and feel of premium wood, but are made of durable fiberglass. Backed by a strong warranty, they offer a lifetime of trouble-free performance and come in many styles. So many styles, in fact, there's a Thermatrue door to make any home look truly better. Well, Scott, I got to tell you, to hear, have you here, buddy? I, you know, I say it every year, and I, you know, I've gotten so freaky busy, busy here with the golf show, and I, it's all because of the great people that email us. You know, we get hundreds of emails, and you know, we set people up uh, every week. Uh, we have a person that can uh, that wins a round of golf, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get like 250 emails for this one to come up here to for a, for a round of golf. But we'll uh, set you up for a round of golf, and we'll even let you pick out whichever course you want. That sounds play. great. Yep, yeah, yeah, let's sure. do that. Hey, where uh, uh, where are we going to be coming up here? It's we're real quick coming right off of the seventy five, and and really, really, and truthfully, that's it. The signs. I mean, there's signs. They don't even call this Gaylord anymore, do they? Well, we've got our own postal code. That's what I figured. Yeah, Treetops Village. You know, we're still we're still part of the Gaylord family, uh, but uh, you know, that's all part of building this community, resort oh, community. Ultimately, in the long long term, uh, you know, it was important for us to. Uh, get that message out. Folks, don't forget, you've got treetops.com. You can go to our site at greatlakesgolf.com, and also their site's right involved there. And uh, give us an email. We're going to set you up. We're still giving away those uh, beautiful R7 drivers from Components Plus and a lot of other great stuff. I'd like to thank all our great sponsors. Of course, the basement experts over at Owens Corning. Got to love them. And, of course, Components Plus setting us up every week. And these great golf courses... Thank you. If it wasn't for these courses, I certainly wouldn't be doing this show. Hey, we'll see you next week right here on Great Lakes Golf Today.